Okay, here we are again doing this nonsense. It's time once again for the Boonville Bearcats wrap up uh, Dingle Thump something or other. And uh, last week they had a game against uh, Charleston. You know, the team that beat them last year twice. The second time around was to bump them out of the uh, state championship finals and win it. Obviously, Charleston was going to go into this game because, you know, they, they uh, obviously they, they thought, you know, hey, we have home field advantage this time around, which I've said numerous times. That doesn't mean a thing. And uh, obviously, they were going to this game being a little bit too cocky, I guess you could say, and thinking that, you know, hey, we beat them twice last year. We can do it again this year. Unfortunately, Charleston did not get to three-peat, as they like to say. Uh, they lost to Boonville 25-15, in, which is, in what has been... Since uh, Boonville's victory over Ozark, it's been the closest uh, closest game they've had so far this year. In fact, it it definitely is because uh, because Bo uh, Boonville beat Ozark forty eight thirty five and and uh, beating Charleston by ten points. That's that's pretty pretty darn close. Uh, the first time I saw the the uh, score, I can't remember what time it was, but uh, the score was eight to six with Charleston leading, and I thought, holy crap, they're gonna three peat, but. When I checked the score again around 9:30, it, it when it when it said what it was, I was like, oh man. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm, I'm sure they're stroking their egos and feeling good right about now. Uh, tomorrow night will be a game against Lavaca, and it will be here. In fact, the next uh, two weeks will be home games. And uh, this thing right here is something that I find a lot of on the ground at, at at home games, and I never quite really understand why is it people go buy this crap. If they're just going to throw it away or leave it on the ground or something like that. And you always hear the guy, the announcer guy at these games saying, uh, you know, please, please pick up your trash. And there's all this garbage all over the place and everything like that. And personally, I just say, you know, they should really catch these people just leaving trash behind. And I just say suspend them for about a week or so, you know, from home games. But that's just me. Um, but, yeah, that's about all I got for you guys this week. Um, again, I just, you know, this, this kind of stuff here is something you can buy from the game. And like I said, you can just throw it away afterwards or throw it on the ground, whatever you get, whatever you want to do with it. So I will do the best I can to be at tomorrow night's game. Uh, this weather is just, I don't know. It, I woke up today. I was sweating, walked outside. It was feeling kind of cool outside. Uh, it, it rained a good portion of last night off and on. So, um, hopefully it's going to be nice and dry tomorrow. I can get up there and check out all the freaks and weirdos yelling, screaming, and doing all kinds of stupid crap. And uh, next week, I'll have a results video for you guys on both channels. This one, of course, my channel, Dr. Metal Freak. So i got to get some stuff done before tomorrow and before tonight. So I guess I'll see you guys for the next one. And uh, yeah. That's about all I got. <laughs> well, except, of course, for uh, if you would, you know, please subscribe to this channel, this other channel, Reno Wheat, my, my channel, Dr. Metal Freak, Grease Monkey 2.0, uh, Rebel Rocker, Little B Fitness, um, Hot and Fresh Reviews, Betty Price, The Price Family, Sand Tube, Verita Price. I think that's about it. I don't know. Throw in some more if we can down in the description below. So, till next week, have a good, safe weekend. And we'll see you then.